John Hernandez helps build support for children of trauma. He started way back when he was a football coach in Texas schools. I was always the one that kind of picked him up, brought him to practice because they lacked rides or, or transportation uh, from their families. So there was always a connection there, a motivation piece to find a way to, to get him to school. Many kids in John's current school district, East Central, miss lots of school and face criminal consequences. He suspected many kids face trauma at home, but the schools had no system to reach out and help. Fortunately, in 2015, Texas law removed the criminal offense from truancy and pushed schools to do more to address attendance, including meeting with parents. We met with each family individually, and it came to, again, being a former coach, write down all those different reasons why kids weren't coming on, on a napkin, basically. It was, I'm the head of the household, I haven't seen my father, he's incarcerated, my mom's got hospice, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the driver. John's family meetings dramatically cut court referrals. So now it became more of a restorative approach to where we had to build the, the trust, but knowing that you're in a safe environment, I'm not here to get you, but I want to know your story. John wasn't done. He attended conferences about how trauma causes mental and physical pain that also affects children's brain development, classroom focus, and future health. He polled students and found most, indeed, faced big trauma. He brought his results to the district superintendent. He asked to start a task force. This group identified community resources that could help students. They added a tracking measure called EC Cares to its school management software to enable teachers, counselors, and principals identify and support students over time. We were able to use a red alert system to where it basically just tags each of those kiddos. I can click on that red alert and it's going to give me a brief description. EC Cares, the campus, you know, East Central High School, and it's going to give you the date. The date, again, is a, is a big piece because that's an anniversary of some type. And so it allows you to put proactive measures in place prior to that. Now they train all district personnel in EC cares and child trauma, from bus drivers to custodians to teachers. The impact that as adults we have and as teachers we have are completely different, um, but we can impact our kids to know that even though they've had bad things happen or that bad things are happening in the world, that we can make it better for them and see that there's hope out there. One of the things that, that, uh, that we're trying to do here um, is make our teachers, our counselors, our principals more aware of the situations that our students go through. Um, everyone from children, parents, um, our teachers, everybody at some point in time uh, have, have experienced some sort of trauma. Um, and how are we going to help service our students, our community, our parents, our teachers, um, so our kids are successful in life. That's our number one goal. How are we going to take care of them? Now more kids are connecting to counseling and support that they need and attending class rather than landing in court. I kind of feel that EC Cares now has become a proactive system instead of reactive. We got to work together as a village basically to, to get the student to the finish line as a senior. 